not pretty, but one day these giant roaches could be a welcome sight for victims of disasters. These are our future search and rescue sentinels. Dr. Alper Boshert and his team at NC State just received a million dollar federal grant to put their research of backpack wearing roaches into real life search and recovery situations. Why roaches? The sensors that they have, the control mechanisms that they have, the power sources that they have, it's unbelievable. It's more complex than your smartphones. The perfect specimen, says Dr. Boshurt, to send in a swarm of roaches into the aftermath of disasters like hurricanes or earthquakes. They can crawl into small spaces and they can find their way very easily. For years, Boshurt says scientists have tried to build insect-like robots for search and rescue operations. The very pro-roach doctor says inside the tiny hairs of the roach's antenna lies the key to control. There are chemical sensors, there are taste sensors. Delicately, part of the natural antenna is replaced with metal electrodes. Uh, open a hole and insert the wire. There is no hurting of the roach because they don't have the pain sensors, pain receptors. And so through this now you're controlling that roach. Yes. The backpack is really a tiny wireless radio they attach to the roach. It receives the remote's commands and changes it into digital pulses to the roach. These are uh, going to the antenna and this we use for right turn or left turn signals. And I was up to the challenge to use the remote to get that little critter to walk the line. And another left. And now he's doing it. That's yes. fantastic. Wow, it's so amazing to control a roach. Yeah. Who would have thought? For now, a listening so device can be at? attached to this backpack oh, when the roaches good. are sent into the rubble. The microphone is going to send whether there is someone is asking for help or not. So you know where the roach is and where possibly yeah, the, a victim is. Yeah. They're hoping a tiny enough camera will be developed to one day attach to the roaches to see under the rubble. In three years, Dr. Boshart says it could all be a reality. So this roach might save someone's life one day. Yes. Okay. All right. All right, I'm torn about this. I For the latest WNCN uploads, subscribe or click here.